Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you a really awesome tool for helping your students with options for perception, language and symbols, as well as comprehension. So really all of those options, in representation UDL, and just really helping your students navigate difficult texts, decipher maybe unfamiliar words, as well as have the option to have text read aloud to them. So this is a website that is free and it's called Rewordify. And as the name implies, it basically gives you a different version of text that you can either paste into the text box or they do have some public documents on here like primary sources for social studies teachers as well as classic literature if you're an ELA teacher there as well. If you're having your students maybe navigate or use research articles, they can always paste those into here as well because there is that feature. So really it works across anything and everything out there. And what it does is it gives you a simplified version. And I say simplified, does it, it's not making it easy for your students per se, but it's giving them an option that might be more at the reading level that they need and really kind of gives them alternatives for some unfamiliar words. Now it doesn't eliminate all of those words entirely. It highlights the words that have been altered so the students can see synonyms for them and kind of get a better understanding. So I have copied already paste uh, from a website. And this is just a random research website page. So I pasted it in there and I asked it to rewordify it for me. So here, whenever the words are highlighted, those are the words that were changed from the original. And this is the simplified rewordified version. So if I want to know what this word means, I can click it and it tells me this is the original word. And this is the version that I had. Entirely. It'll read it out loud to me. And if I'm curious, I could actually click and have other words read out loud as well. And it also gives me definitions for any words that maybe weren't necessarily the ones that were rewordified as well. So if I click here, it tells me those words. It has my original text down here, so I can just keep adding that as I need to. Other options here to know, it gives you a reading time there, and it gives you some practice for learning those words if you want. There are stats here that show the reading score, and this is really more helpful for the teacher side of things for using this to help you kind of plan reading activities for your students. You can share all of these resources too. You can print this, and there's there's usually reading activities here that you can produce based upon the text that you add in there. So if it's a longer text, this can help you generate some learning activities. But there's also this really helpful piece as well for parts of speech too. So you could have as many of these on here as you need or as few as you need. This could also be helpful for your students if you're trying to teach some of these components as well. The interactive view is a little bit better. Other option here is instead of just copying and pasting text from a website in here, you can also use the ones that are already provided here on the website. And I will say the ones that are already housed on the website have more dynamic resources available, Teachers have helped produce some of these pieces. So they're, they're designed for teachers, by teachers, and for students. So if I go to public documents, I can find an example here. Let's just do this one. And here's the original version of the Declaration of Independence. All right. If I click these words again, this is the original word up here. Here's the rewordified one right below it, and it shows me all of these features here. I have the same options as before, and it says there's about 67 difficult words on this, and I can go through a couple of learning activities here to see if there's more of these words that I wanna learn and study, or there's fewer. So if I click 10, all right, and click begin learning, Gives me the word, gives me a definition here. The and I can word it. inspired means motivated slash brought about. All right, you can use it in context next. And there's more options here to look it up. So that's why it's a little bit more helpful sometimes to use the resources that are already made here because they do have more resources that go along with them. But it's still helpful even if you're just wanting to use this with your students on a website that's not necessarily produced up here automatically. So again, this is a free website, really helpful option for your students. If they're struggling with text in class, if you're using some vocabulary activities and you want to give them an opportunity to kind of decode some of these words in text, you're reading primary resources or new nonfiction reading as well. These are really great to integrate. 
So that is a helpful resource and I hope you find it as amazing as I, had, I know a lot of teachers do.